the district judge came to me, he's a close friend, we go to church together, and he had had a situation last, um, last, early last summer where there was a child in state's custody, which meant in foster care, uh, had been abused and ultimately was in hospital, never going to recover. Uh, doctors, you know, come to him. The statutes say that he, as presiding judge, as district judge, had to make the determination to withhold any artificial hydration, nutrition, and essentially that children or that child passed away. Uh, we were looking at the statutes, and what he felt was that there wasn't any authorization to allow anatomical gifts from that child. Um, again, we have church background and church history together, and he just felt that it would have been better for our state. Um, to be able to allow that anatomical gift. He said there's only about 38 cases or so that he's aware of in the past few years. So this isn't something that's gonna happen very often, but again, being able to save uh, from anatomical gifts up to seven or 13 lives for each one that's um, organ that's donated. We felt that it was something that would make a big difference for a few people.